सॉल्व अ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम लीनियर डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन विथ कॉन्स्टेंट कॉफिशियंट नाउ इट इज इजी टू फाइंड कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री फंक्शन इन ईच केस बट लुक एट द आर एच एस इट इज ई पावर एक्स कॉस टू एक्स सो वी हैव रेड अ रूल फॉर दिस द रूल इज बेसिकली इफ क्यू इफ द इक्वेशन इज ऑलवेज इन दिस फॉर्म सॉरी अ फंक्शन ऑफ डी इन टू वाई इक्वल्स टू क्यू नाउ इन केस क्यू इज ई पावर ए एक्स इन टू वी वे वी इज एनी फंक्शन ऑफ एक्स देन द पर्टिकुलर इंटीग्रल इज वन अपॉन एफ ऑफ डी ई पावर ए एक्स इन वी वट यू डू इज यू टेक दिस ई पावर ए एक्स आउट ऑफ द ऑपरेटर एंड इन प्लेस ऑफ डी राइट डी प्लस ए दिस ए इज सेम एज दिस ए and this will now be operating on v so let's do this first of all find the complementary function for that so let's find the complementary function for that convert it into d form to m form so m cube minus 3 m square plus 4 m minus 2 equate it to 0 Let's put one here. So one minus three is minus two, minus two, minus four, and plus four. So one is definitely a root. Write the coefficients here. One minus three, four, and minus two. Write a zero here. Add. You will get one. Multiply. You will get one minus two. Multiply. You will get minus two. Two multiply. You will get two. Then this becomes zero. Now this equation converts to m square minus two m plus two equals to zero. Let's find the root m equals to minus b. So two uh, plus minus under root b square. That is four uh, minus four into one into two divided by two a. So this becomes uh, a is here one. M is two plus minus. Uh, this is four minus eight minus four. So that will come out as two iota. So my m is one plus minus iota. So my m one was one. M two will be one plus iota, and m three will be. One minus iota. So I can write my complementary function now. For real and distinct, I will write c one e power m x m one x that is x. For this two complex, I will write e power a x so e power one x. C two because I have already used a constant. C two cos of b x b is here one. Plus c three sine of b x again b is one. So I can take e power x common if possible c one plus c two cos x plus c three sine x will be my complementary function. Let's move ahead with the particular integral which will be one upon f of d denominate uh, operating on whatever is in the R H S which is e power x cos two x here. What is the rule? Take this out. So e power x goes out. E power a x. So a here is one. So replace d by d plus one. Operating on cos two x. Now what was f of d? F of d was this. So I am replacing d by d plus one. So d plus one whole cube. So one upon d plus one whole cube. Minus three d square was there, so minus three in place of d, write d plus one whole square. Plus four d was there, so four times d plus one, and then finally a minus two. This will be operating on cos two x. So let's open the brackets. We are left with e power x one upon d plus one whole cube a cube plus b cube. Plus three a square b, so three d square plus three a b square, so three d 
minus uh, this is d square plus 2d plus 1 so minus 3d square minus 6d minus 3 so minus 3d square minus 6d minus 3 and 4 times d plus 1 will be 4d plus 4 and then finally a minus 2 and this you all know is operating on cos 2x now uh, if you see here 3d square gets cancelled and we are left with e power x in denominator i will definitely have a d cube 3 minus 6 is minus 3 plus 4 so a d left 1 minus 3 is minus 2 minus 2 minus 4 plus 4 0 so this will be operating on cos 2x now the rule for cos ax says put minus of a square so a square is 4 minus of that is minus 4 so put minus of a square in place of d square so d square into d in place of d square i am putting minus of 4 and d as it is plus d cos 2x these all rules have been discussed in a separate video you can always go and have a look there so e power x this is minus 3d cos 2x now from here there are two possible ways either you multiply divide by d square d sorry multiply divide by d and move ahead as so both the steps uh, so here are the two steps you can follow either of them so first one being uh, that multiply divide by d so i will get i am putting this minus 1 by 3 out so d square cos 2x so if you put minus 4 here so minus e power x if you put minus 4 here take that out so this will become plus 12 and d of cos 2x we all know derivative of cos 2x is minus sin 2x and multiplied by 2 so minus sin 2x multiplied by 2 you will finally get minus e power x sin 2x divided by 6 and what about this e power x minus 1 by 3 now 1 by d in this field is same as integral so i am writing integral of cos 2x dx now integral of cos 2x is sin x so you will get minus e power x by 3 sin 2x and you will divide by the derivative of 2x which is 2 so minus e power x divided by 6 into sin 2x you are getting the same thing so either of the uh, methods you can take let's move ahead so this is your particular integral my final answer is always cf plus pi so my cf was e power x c1 plus c2 cos x plus c3 sin x and my pi is coming out to be minus e power x sin 2x divided by 6 this is my final answer i hope you understood it well this was the rule then we found the complementary function perfectly easy then we applied the rule to find the particular integral again easy 1 by d is always the integral or you can follow this step also Whenever you have cos ax, replace d square by minus of a square. Final answer is cf plus pi.